this executive that is that we are now forming and regenerating and the dynamism and energy that I see in the young people, the younger people coming forward and joining the GSD, for me it reminds me of the the movement for change that we were in the mid 90s. I've actually worked a lot within uh, communities for the UK government, for uh, the Art Council, uh, developing uh, education projects, uh, doing outreach projects for the youth, uh, for special needs, um, young offenders. And um, it's something that I'm very passionate about. And uh, one of the reasons I came back to Gibraltar is to continue my work here. So my name is Sean Balleste. I am turning 30 this year. My day-to-day -day job entails working with vulnerable uh, students in our community. My name is Abigail Davis. I am 30. Um, I currently work in company management locally for a Gibraltar local firm. Good afternoon. I'm Giovanni Origo and I'm 28 years old. I'm a middle-aged single parent of th three boys serving the community with respect of different uh, issues. I'm 34 years old. My name is Joelle Wahnon, but I go by Ladislaus now. So that's my maiden name. Um, my name is Atri Sanchez. Um, I have two uh, beautiful daughters. Um, my name is Nahela. Um, I'm a student right now at university. Um, I study history. I have a really strong interest in politics and have been involved in the GSD executive for around six years now. My name is Youssef Elhana. Came to visit in 97, that same summer, and I was diagnosed with a soft tissue sarcoma to my right eye um, here in Gibraltar. Thankfully, uh, humanity prevailed uh, and I was sent over to the UK for treatment and this, my story uh, with Gibraltar began then. My name is Robert Asobardi been a teacher for many years and uh, I have a passion for teaching. My name is Alan Sinet. Um, I'm a Chief Investment Officer at an asset management firm here in Gibraltar. I'm Keith Asobardi. I'm the leader of the GSD. I'm a dad first um, and then I'm a, I'm a politician and a lawyer. They're very engaged with people and their concerns um, and that it's that sense of authenticity that sense of principle like um, character that I that really resonates with me and keeps me with the GSD. Well, we need to improve our health services we need to improve our disability services our mental health uh, provisions and I just strongly feel that GSD uh, the GSD party is the right party uh, it's a group of people full of uh, enthusiasm and passion and with the right policies for what Gibraltar really needs. I feel compelled to, to give back to the community which has given so much to me. And I think that the GSD has what people want. It, it can deliver on things like accountability, transparency and honesty. And I feel we're at a crossroad right now. A lot of things are happening and you've just got to listen to people out there. And everyone I think is crying for the same thing. The GSD, in my view, aligns with my values and in particular uh, trying to push a progressive dynamism. The treatment that I got growing up uh, from the GSD, the humanity that I received from this political party uh, at a time of difficulty, at a time for extre of extreme difficulty uh, that I went through and that my family went through uh, when I was diagnosed with cancer, um, sort of painted a picture of what the GSD stood for, the values of the GSD and what many of the people back then uh, that were ministers and, and, and people within the party, uh, what they stood for. I think I found my political home in the GSD. It's, um, it's a party that holds integrity and, and all the pillars of democracy at, at its forefront. Um, and, and I couldn't ask for more than that in the GSD. Um, it's also a party which is very keen to see women at the forefront of politics, which is something that's extremely important to me and I hold very dear to my heart. Um, because there are not enough women in, in leadership roles. The GSD is the party that means the most to me, and I feel that it's the party that's going places. The GSLP, having had 10 years um, under, under their mandate, I think the, the time for change has arrived. Um, and looking at the political spectrum, 
the one, the one political party that I can identify with the most is the GSD. I've been here for 10 years. Um, I'm a very proud Gibraltarian, but unfortunately, I think we need to bring uh, some pride back to the rock. Um, I've just seen Gibraltar deteriorate, and I couldn't just sit about and moan all the time, and it was about time to do something about it. Government structure is paralyzed by money, partisanship, and this needs to change. Gibraltar needs change, and effectively, I believe the GSD are the main people for that. Uh, we've had 10 years of considerable economic damage and I feel that GSC can fix that. Two of my children have been for almost three years unemployed and however I feel the government also lacks in the training centres such as for kids like my children. The reason I'm, in, I'm involved in politics is because I want to make a, a difference. When you get something right in politics and you've got the chance to make a difference and a change, you're improving the quality of life for all citizens across the board, the whole community. That for me is the big driver of why I still, 30 years on, remain and want to remain involved in politics. And I see the future, the next election, as a huge opportunity for us to once again uh, come back uh, to government and once again make the changes that are so needed in Gibraltar.